Hello there, today we are going to do something similar to this animation in Adobe After Effects. We are going to be dealing with something very underrated, the text animators, but you know, these little f are really amazing. Bear with me because this is going to be lots of fun. Kinetic Kinetic series by Hulk 79. So let's start by selecting the text or type tool here in the toolbox and clicking on the preview panel here within our frame. In this case we are going to work in a 1920 per 1080 ratio or format and I'm going to start just by just writing some L's, lowercase L's in aerial narrow bold and I love this because you know we are going to play with typography in a very graphical way uh, playing with rhythm and then we can go into something like numbers or, or letters but I want to start with this because this is going to be very fun and very graphical so I'm going to put it on the left um, bottom left part here with the alignment tools and I'm going to keep adding some else here to cover all the frame and this is going to be the foundation of, of my animation okay uh, I have it like aligned to left like this so that way the anchor point is here and I'm going to make visible the margins here so that I can scale this up into the middle okay just like this remember that you need to zoom in a lot to just be very very precise and yeah this is text uh, even if it, it it feels kind of incredible but it is and now the fun the fun is going to start okay I'm going to open here the text layer here in text and this very button here the animate button is where all the text animators lay okay you can find them here so I'm going to start with scale okay so this is going to be a text animator made from scratch to animate the scale of the characters or letters so I add it here and you know text animators uh, are a little bit tricky or they can feel a little bit mysterious but yeah we are going to start scratching the surface and having fun to understand them but not fully so the first thing is that I can select it and if I press enter I can change the name okay scale tassel honoring this the tassel ships of the second world war and here we can we have the scale and we can unlink the two parameters so you see that I'm making them every letter a uh, bigger horizontally only and I'm going to make them so that it they are very very close to each other and here we have the range selector controls where a lot of the fun of the text animators lays and yeah here um, you have this, this these are the basic controls the start the end and the offset and if you start like playing with the end for example you can see that the scale is going from the end to the beginning one by one just like disappearing okay so I'm going to undo that we can also like play with the offset okay so that it goes through all of the different glyphs and if I keep going to the other side until I reach the minus 100 I can animate them in reverse so to say and then if I put the end at 50 for example 50% you see that the the animation is or the effect stops right in the middle and here in advanced I'm going to make this bigger because this is going to this is getting a little bit more complicated but there are different things that we can deal with that are very interesting for example the units okay here we can change 
from percentage to index we're not going to work with the index but would be like every glyph is going to be numbered here but let's keep it like that and then you can animate the characters the animation affects every character the words or the lines okay uh, the mode here but what i want to change here is the shape from square into smooth okay so that i have this kind of nice gradation okay so that's super cool so with all this i think uh yeah i'm going to start animating okay so i go to the beginning and i'm going to play with the offset okay so i'm going to deal with it so that the scale is not present and you see that we have these two red vertical lines so that's the part of the text that is affected by the text animator so i'm going to hide the effect to the beginning this is minus 50 that makes sense okay so like start and end the end is at 50 so the offset needs to be like at minus 50 i'm going to go forward until second two and i assume that if i go to 100 percent it is going to disappear okay so now i'm going to close the preview area here and i'm going to hit the spacebar and this is really 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 cool so the next thing that i'm going to tell you is that in this very text animator within this uh, animation that we have here with the range selector if I add another property let's say for example the fill color here with the RGB values and I press the spacebar again you see how cool this is I'm adding another parameter that is going to be animator, animated at the same rhythm okay like like the scale so you can if I go to the middle here I can keep adding, for example, let's say something like tracking, that, that meaning the space between letters, okay, here. And I'm going to set it to 5, for example, or something more extreme, let's say 25, something like that. And you see how cool is that. So, believe it, believe it or not, this is text. So, if I start writing numbers here you see how cool this is okay this is just text so after knowing all this you can start for example duplicating this layer with control command D uh, rotating it let's say 180 degrees and I'm going to align it to the top center and if I press the spacebar again I can start like making it so that it feels more organized like this and you see how cool this was this was very very easy to do and then I, I really love for example to make this kind of things where I throw a composition into a create new composition then I can scale it down let's say to 50 okay and if I put this in the top left I can start like adding others like this and another to the bottom and another to the left and you see that I'm starting to create this kind of pattern and even like because there are separated things I can for example this and this one here I selected them by holding on a shift can go to the effects and presets and apply them uh, a tint for example and then let's say that the white is going to be a very nice yellow here so yeah you see how how cool this was so Let's go back uh, here into our text and if you remember this was just some else okay like this here and the best part as you 
as you can understand, is that I can write here whatever I want and it is always going to be editable text layers, okay? I hope you liked this very quick tutorial and don't forget that I have my buy, buy me a coffee uh, webpage where you can support me. Thank you for following the tutorial and I see you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk 79.